Today, I'm talking about how to go camping with your cats, where to put the litter box, how to keep them safe, and some of the things that you should look out for when you bring your kitty cat camping with you. We're starting in three, two, Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, the world's only channel that gives you the true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I'm going to share with you how to go camping with your cats. Uh, you're going to see some footage of me and my family on our winter vacation in a motorhome. We went down to West Palm Beach to visit my mom. Hi mom. You know she's watching. And um... We brought our cats with us, and so we took a lot of footage about camping with our cats, and there's going to be a lot of great stuff. And just to spread a little good kindness in the world, uh, I like to remind people, please don't shop, adopt. There's a lot of great rescue animals that leave loving homes. So the very first thing that I was scared about was that my cats getting startled and running out the front door. If you were to open the door, and if they're standing right there, they might skirt out of there, you know, out of fear, and then you lost your loved one. And so, it was really ticking me off, because I'm like, how stupid is this? You have a screen door, right? But why is it, when you open up the main door, the screen door closes? I thought it was the stupidest thing, until I saw this. So you see this mechanism here? This is what makes this screen door open with the door, okay? So what you do is you take a little screwdriver or something. This I have my dad's Leatherman. And you unscrew this a little bit like that. You unscrew this. A little bit like that. So you want to be able to push it up like that and then you tighten it back into place. Okay. So now when you take the door, see how it clips in? But now it won't necessarily do that because it's too high. I mean it can if you want, but check this out. Ta-da! So adjusting it makes it so the screen door doesn't open when you open up the door to your RV. And this is on a travel trailer, but you can do this on a travel trailer, fifth wheel, or motorhome. Next is where you want to put your litter box. In the motorhome we took, there was a nice little nook under the bed, a great place for the litter box, and you want to put the litter box in before you bring the cat in. But another good place is in the bathroom or in the shower. And you wanna put it in a place where you know it's not gonna be rolling around while you're driving. So this next part is the most important. It's getting the cat in. Again, you wanna have your litter box already established and you want to open it up and you want it so the cats can just walk around the motorhome and get used to their environment. The cats, they're so curious. They want to look around, sniff everything, see where they are. They're not comfortable. Really, I recommend, especially your first time taking your cats out, spending at least 15 to 20 minutes so they can just look around and figure out where they are. They want to sniff around. I also recommend bringing a blanket or a kitty bed that they're comfortable with, that they like to sniff and having that set up on the couch so they can sniff it and you know get comfortable with their surroundings again you have to understand that this is very nerve-wracking for the cats but once they're surrounded by the people that they love and they know that they're safe then you will be ready to make your maiden voyage so let me show you what we did you have to have a lot of blankets with you Again, we have that area covered up. We are gonna put something there during travel. 
We're actually parked at the Lowers now. Um, and hi, Poo Poo. And depending on how curious your cats are, oops, the slide out here, we had to put a towel and sheets and stuff right there to make sure little curious Ezra doesn't get back there. Uh, Oop, there's a light. And then, can you crop me out? yeah, psych, you're gonna be famous. Say hi, Lissy. Hi, Lissy. So, um, show them. Hang on, show them what we did there. I'm right here because of the cat Mochi was trying to get back here and she was trying to get down here too and once she goes in there you can't get her out which is dangerous mm -hmm. and scary yeah and you don't so, want to get her stuck in between the yeah, slide and out she's, and the rv she's so small she could fit back there so yep but then back. then if you get her back there it's going to be hard to get her out yeah but and it seems like a pain in the butt but once you're at where you're going and you push the slide out out this gets flushed so then you don't need to worry about it when you're at where you're at extra pillows we have cats. yep we have yep well this video is all about cats and camping hashtag cat life hashtag cats are dangerous oh, yes, hashtag camping with cats hashtag, hashtag camping with cats hashtag camping with cats hashtag Ezra Henry what are you doing baby boy what are you doing Ezra baby boy baby boy what are you doing Look at him. Ezra Chunk. Come here, baby boy. Look at you, little curious kitty. So you want to make sure you cover up your furniture real good because with this leather material, Cats love to dig their claws in there. And then the driver's seat, we have it covered up like that. Also, let me turn this on. Another thing you wanna do, you want to fill, hang on. Another thing you wanna do, you wanna fill this area back here. You see how we have a suitcase there? Uh, we're going to fill it more, but you really want to fill that area there. Also, you want to make sure that you put something there to block the cats from going under your feet while driving. Look at this. <clears throat> Where'd you get this, babe? Uh, Pet Smart. It's called a double wide scratcher. Look, it even has a little camper on there. So what I'll do is, this is great. I'll put an affiliate link in the description below because this is a nice little portable scratcher. So they scratch this instead of your furniture. Yeah, the biggest key to taking your cats camping is to not stress them out because they can get really bad exam and die. Anxiety. Yep. I mean, y'all, they'll freak out. Why don't you tell them about that stuff that they can get at the uh, vet? Well, you can get it at the pet store. Well, what's it called? It's like an it's like a liquid. It's like ex for anxiety and like stress looking and stuff. Just put it in their water, and it's supposed to help them for traveling. But they also have like um, chew chewy things that you can get from the pet store. But a lot of times they don't eat it. Right here we have a very scared little boy. He's just laying here. He's doing good. Look at him. He's got color. Yeah. He's okay. Scared little boy. He's not a good boy. Yeah, I know he 
So, your cat might get motion sickness like Ezra did, but don't worry, Ezra got motion sickness about 30 minutes into the ride. After that, he was completely fine. The biggest thing, especially your first time taking your cats, we live in Pasadena, Maryland, and we stopped in Richmond, Virginia, which is just south of DC. So, our first night driving, we only drove for two hours. You know, it can be very traumatizing for the animals because they don't know what's going on. So you really want to make sure your first night, you take it easy. And then the next day, you wake up refreshed. The animals are now used to their surroundings because they spent the whole night in the motorhome. And then you will be ready to continue on your journey. And what we did, we went from Richmond and we drove straight through all the way to Florida. Great, thanks so much for watching my whole video. As a gift, I actually designed these RV related t-shirts and I'm actually going to give five of them away uh, and how to get them. This one says, I bought a camper for my fur baby and you're able to uh, text me the type of cat or cats or dogs that you have and then if you're a male or female or whatever and I can customize this shirt for you and it's a custom shirt made just for you. So I'll be selecting five people to give that away. Just comment below. One, do you bring your cats camping with you? And if you do, if you have any recommendations, um, leave that in the comments below. Or just comment what type of cat you have or dogs that you have. And, uh, or, you know, where your favorite place to go camping is. Any comment below gets entered. And I will be selecting five people to win this shirt. If you have any questions... Uh, feel free to send me an email, mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Hit that circle button right there to subscribe to my channel. And again, don't shop, adopt. There's plenty of awesome kitty cats and dogs out there who need loving homes and shelters. So uh, go check them out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. It's been a long 24 hours. Come on, get your booty in here and eat your ice cream. She's fine. Feed Ezra. A piece of toe for I need to get back there to uh, get matched shh, 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 shh. Hang on. This is for the YouTube. Toe for oh, hello. Oh, even your cats Come are on. vegan. <laughs> Check the ingredients. Bubby, make sure that your ice cream's there. And I need to bring the water around. The water in the covers. I don't have toe for you. Bella, can you hear me? Which one's my tea? What?